Hello, this is Sublimity, and this is my first video on Raft. Alright, so today I want to be talking through a new mechanic that I've recently found with one of my friends. And this mechanic allows you to merge items into other blocks. And what I've done here, I've got two, uh, what do you call them, engines, yeah. And um, I've merged them both into the same block. Also, I've merged them into the floor as this is uh, one of the other things you can merge into. So you can merge into floor and you can also merge it into diagonal parts like this. Uh, the reason I'm making a full video on this uh, is because there's a few different mechanics involved in merging blocks and the main idea is I wanted to show the different things that you can do so that you guys can just try different things out for yourself. This first, this first creation quite easy. So all I've done is got an anchor and I've made it go straight through the foundation floor. So to do this, to merge an item, all you have to do is place rugs covering the block that you want to merge. Now when you use more rugs it actually makes it easier to merge items together and I think this is basically because it's targeting this rug over the other block below it and that gives you the positioning to um, merge items. I don't know like the details of why this works, I just it just does. Um, so yeah, that's literally it. For this, it's quite easy. All you have to do is place the rug, place the anchor, and there you go. So the next one is also quite easy. And all I've done for this is I've put two crop plots together. And I think this is really awesome because normally you only have these three, right? Um, but if you flip the crop plot and place another, you actually get six in the same slot. Now, one thing to note with this is that it can be sometimes hard to target the block that you want to. And what I mean by that is when you place in a crop, um, let me just find one. So obviously you can place them in here, but it doesn't let me do it on the other side. And that's because you have to go to target it in a certain position. So sometimes you have to go to the edge to actually place it, and the same goes for um, watering the plants. But one way that you can make it easier for yourself is to misplace it or misalign it just a little bit more, so that you've got a bit more room to actually look at the block you're targeting when placing crops. But that's just one thing to note anyway. Oh, and another thing to note actually on this is sometimes you can't always merge blocks together even though you've got the rug down. So sometimes you have to look away for a second and then come back and do it again. Easy as awesome. So, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually merge plots with uh, walls and diagonal slopes and the floor. Um, you have to place the floor first that you want to merge. It doesn't work the other way around, and that's because it's an item that snaps to the grid. And items that snap to a grid, uh, any item that snaps to a grid, uh, doesn't work for this merging unless it's something that you've placed down first. Um, and it doesn't work for everything. For example, you can merge through this part of the um, engine, but you can't actually merge anything through this part of it. Um, and I don't know why that is. It's probably something to do with the hitbox. Uh, I'm not sure. So anyway, um, yeah. You want to get yourself a crop plot. Um, there we go. I've already got them hot, but I didn't realize. So yeah, you want to place the rug, and uh, place it again, and yeah, there we go, it's not working. So we've got to place more rugs when it's not working, and not working again, oh, there we go, we got it. Alright, next one. So this is a lot different to how we've done everything else. And what I've got here is a chest on a research table. Don't know why you'd want this, it's quite a cool... Uh, decoration, if anything. I think most of these things are purely decoration purposes over efficiency. I think that one thing to note is that this helps like give you a lot of creativity and new routes that you can take in Raft to make anything that you want. It's not necessarily a cheat, I'd say, but it's more of just like a new mechanic that helps you build cool, crazy stuff. Um, so how I've done this is I have a sh I have a shelf, and it, this this is actually quite a bit a little bit more tricky than the previous mechanic, as 
it, we're not just merging, but we're also stacking items. Um, and there's a few different things to note in this. So what you kind of want to do is get everything that you want on your hotbar, and because you, you don't want to be looking or moving around while doing this, and you'll see why now. So when I place this, I can place this straight away. But now, look, it doesn't always snap. Like, so now it is. It's working when I'm looking around, but it doesn't always work. So a really easy way to make it work more consistently is to have your crosshair in the exact same position when you go to place it. Now, you might be thinking, why is this important? Why would I want to place this? So this allows you to place items on top of it. Because otherwise, if you didn't have this, and you wanted to say, let's place that chest again, it would place it below, and you can't place things on top. So we'll get to uh, we'll get to that now. So we want to get the research table, place it down, place it down the shelf, and we can place things on top. However, we can't place it on top now because we need to place the rug as well. Now it doesn't work, but it does if you fiddle around with it. So this is really annoying, and I think it's because it's trying to tag it, this rug, underneath this block. So yeah, we've got it here, and cool. Now, if I was to get rid of this shelf, you see how it just destroys the chest? That's because the chest actually is below the lip of this uh, research table. And that basically means that, um, it, it basically insinuates that it's not attached to anything, it's still floating, so therefore it gets destroyed straight away when the shelf's destroyed, because that's what's holding it up. However, there are there are actually other items that will stay on top of this uh, research table, and I'll show you that in a second. So, yeah, as I was saying before, we want to get this down. Um, now, you can place... You can place them behind as well. That sometimes works, and gives you more freedom for where you want to place the items on this research table. So uh, let's think, all right, we could put a plant down. Yeah, plant be good. So, oh yeah, I need to get the rug again. Sometimes you do have to fiddle around with this quite a bit because it doesn't always want to target that block. Oh, there we go, we got it. So yeah, nice. Like, it's so cool how you can have these like small little additions to stuff like this, like normally you won't be able to place items on a research table, but now you can. And I feel like that's something that should just be in the game anyway. But um, well, since though we don't have it, this is the next best thing. So now, anyway, if I was to get rid of the shelf, see how it actually just stays on? And that's because it's being held down by this research table. Um, so a few more examples of like items being stacked on top of each other like this is with the um, grill and the water purifier. Um, obviously I've not aligned these the best but you could see how if you've got a really small raft and you're trying to do like a 3x3 three three build it could be actually quite efficient trying to put them on top of each other. Um, another example of stacking is I've, I've put the uh, I've put the old shoe What's that? the old shoe is there yeah put the old shoe on the um, scarecrow and I've also put it on top of grass so you can actually stack on grass um, as well but what you have to do is make sure that the stack because this snaps to a grid as I said before so you need to put the grass down first and then put the rug on top and then you can do both these things like that. Um, also to note you can stack on top of tiki blocks similar to how you stack on top of uh, research tables so yeah Place your teeth thing, place your rug. You probably could stack them in the same block. There we go. Yeah, like that. And then, the last thing, what could we put on here? Maybe a plant. Plants are always nice. We could actually give him a grassy head. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Um, yep, yeah, rug again. And then try and get it working. There we go. And look at that, he now has a like hair. How awesome is that? Can I paint this guy? No, I can't, anyway. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll try and create some more mechanics soon. Uh, create mechanics. I'll try and find more mechanics soon. I do have a few that I've also found in the past that I've put on my Reddit page, but I will upload them to YouTube as well. So that I've got one place to keep them all. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, I'll see you later.